So welcome back to my Tastefully Vicky Kitchen and today it's all about cutting down on waste. And generally I do cook a little bit more than I probably should because I don't like anybody going hungry and I end up with a lot of leftovers. So I thought I'd share with you three recipes on how to recycle food into something completely different. And to start off with, I'm going to show you how to make a sin-free leftover mash cheese and onion muffin and it makes 12 perfect for either crumbling into soups or just an alternative to mashed potatoes. They're just a little bit different. Then I'm going to show you how to make a really lean and healthy leftover pasta pizza which serves two people and some healthy pancakes using up some leftover soup with some oat flour. And I've teamed up with Brabant here today who are on a similar mission that's very close to my heart where each sale of their latest new icon pedal bins teams up with the Ocean Cleanup to help try and rid of all the sea's plastic. And the great news is not only is there three recipes today, there's also going to be a giveaway and I'll show you how to enter that at the end. But everyone who enters is up for a chance to win one themselves and they're sustainable, made of 40% recycled plastic, 98% of the bin is recyclable, they come in a fab range of colours, they're all soft closing and range from a 3 litre one which I use on my kitchen counter for veg peelings, eggshells and coffee grounds up to a 30 litre bin which I think is the daddy of bins for general waste. And on top of that the winner gets a selection of tasty tools. So if you want to learn how to make my three less waste recipes then keep on watching otherwise just skip to the end for the giveaway. So to start off with, I'm going to show you how to make some mashed potato, cheese and onion muffins. And you'll need a large mixing bowl, add in 2 cups or 530 grams of mashed potato, 1 teaspoon of mustard powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, 40 grams of blended oats or just regular flour, 3 eggs, and then 40 grams of grated low fat cheese, and 1 diced and sautéed onion. And give that a really good mix. Then spoon into a lined and greased muffin tin and it makes 12 and then for fun just sprinkle a pinch of oats, some chives and a little bit more cheese. And then place in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 35 minutes. Now if you're often like me and you cook too much pasta, I don't like people to go hungry, one recipe I highly recommend is leftover pasta frittata with a pizza twist. And all you need to do is preheat your oven at 200 degrees, weigh out 250 grams of cooked pasta, spray a large dish with oil spray, then in a jug crack in one, two, three, four eggs. This is where my tabletop mini bin comes in handy. And then beat the eggs with a fork, and then grab the bowl that we put the pasta in, pour in the egg mixture, add some seasoning, and give it a really good stir, then transfer into the oven dish, grate in 40 grams of lower fat cheese, and give a final stir and bake for 20 minutes. Now it's time to give it that pizza twist and I added some pizza sauce, I just used tomato puree and some water mixed together and then add another 40 grams of cheese and then add whatever veggies you like. I just finally chopped up some mushrooms and added a sprinkling of sweet corn and then bake for a final 15 minutes and it's ready to serve two people. And then finally, another recipe I think is great to use up any leftover soups that you get bored of is to make savoury pancakes. So in a blender, you'll need to blitz 40 grams of porridge oats with a touch of salt, add in 180 grams of the soup of your choice, and then blend again, crack in an egg, and blend once more. And then just grab a frying pan and just fry it like regular pancakes. And once they're cooked, create a stack of them and top with whatever you fancy. So if you think you've got a fantastic tip and trick on how to prevent food waste or any waste in general, then please comment below, don't keep it a secret. And if you want to be in for a chance to win one of these fantastic bins and a selection of tasty tools, then I'll leave a link in the description box and the comments. All you have to do is just visit the blog link that has all these three recipes in it. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there'll be a description on how to enter. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like these recipes and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.